I'm at the top of my profession. Chefs from all over the world were coming to our restaurant. Boom, I get fired and now I'm at the bottom. Well, I was born and raised in Boston, Massachusetts. The mix of my neighborhood was 50% Jewish and 50% Catholic. I went to synagogue. I celebrated all the Jewish holidays. We're in Hebrew when I did my bar mitzvah. We were told you cannot read the New Testament. If you believed in Jesus, you were Christian. And I remember opening up to the book of Matthew and reading the first verse and just literally being blown away. The book was really more about Jewish people than about Gentiles. I had moved out to San Francisco and was working at a restaurant called Stars. We were doing things that nobody else were doing, probably the most creative kitchen in the world. People were coming to this restaurant seeing like, wow, what's going on here? I was going to be a chef. We went out and we partied and we would close down bars at 2 o'clock and then we'd go over to somebody's house and drink until 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and do drugs. So after a heavy night of partying, I wake up, I'm hungover, I'm tired, I go to work and I see somebody else at the station that I was supposed to work, work in. Uh-oh, something's not right here. And I just remember feeling like in the pit of my stomach that I really, really blew it. We're going to demote you to being a prep cook. I just lost my skill set. So he says, you're actually firing me, aren't you? And I, he said, yes. And one day when I got fired, my world came crashing down because my life was where I was working and what I was doing. So I started to drink more and I started to do more drugs and I started to what I call go down the spiral of just devastation. And I just woke up every morning for months just thinking, my life is a waste. And I blew it, and I didn't know how to, how to get out of it. At 3 o'clock in the morning, and I come home, I stumble home after a night of drinking. My bed's spinning, and the ceiling's spinning, and I'm getting nauseous. And I'm just thinking, wow, look at my life. That night at 3 o'clock in the morning, I said, Lord, I don't care what I have to do. I just need you in my life. I didn't know what that meant, I just knew that I needed to just change. There was this one day that I remember standing in the kitchen and the people in that restaurant were picking on this Korean girl. She was reading her Bible in the lunchroom. I thought that what I should do is befriend her. I was jealous of what she had. You know, she wasn't drinking, she wasn't partying. She represented something that I believe God said you need. So one day as we're talking, she asked me a question that forever has changed my life. She said, why don't Jewish people believe that Jesus is their Messiah? And I said, because we're Jews. Jesus is for you guys, he's not for us, and ended the conversation. And she came back and said, but he's in your Bible. And I just remember standing there thinking, in my Bible. I didn't even really know my Bible. So I felt kind of strange delving into a subject that I felt very ill-equipped, but kind of embarrassed that as a Jew, she seemed to know the Old Testament much better than me. So it, it put me in a very awkward position, so I just said, I don't want to talk about this anymore. The answers that I needed in my life were centered around Jesus, and I wasn't going to get that from a rabbi, so I looked for a church to go to. I sat in the back, and afterwards I went to the pastor, and I said, I'm Jewish, and I want to know more about Jesus. He invited me to his office. He gave me a Bible. We studied the Bible, and he was the first person to really, really lay out what the gospel was. And I remember opening up my Bible to Isaiah 53 and reading it for the first time. And almost like the first time I read the New Testament, I was shocked. There it was in vivid color, the depiction of what Jesus did. And in his life, I'm reading it 600 years before Jesus even came to this world. So now I have a relationship with Jesus. And I'm still a professional chef. I do not do drugs. I do not drink. I found my Messiah. That's where my contentment came. That's where my peace came. Jesus completely did it.